Hey guys, it's Adam. I'm a professional wedding photographer from Staffordshire in the UK and today I want to teach you about the Lightroom mobile app and how to get your first gallery over and start editing. So let's go! Okay, so before we can start editing on our iPad, we need to first go over to our iMac. So once we're over on our iMac on the Lightroom app and we come to import some new files, we just need to make sure they're added to collections. If you're not using collections, then you're missing out. It's a great way to organize your files and it's really, really helpful. Anyway, to sync with Lightroom Mobile, we need to make collections. So we we'll simply click this plus here. Then we've got, uh, we're gonna put inside wedding because that's where I put all my wedding stuff. So yeah, and then I'm just gonna do, I always do date backwards. Uh, I'm just gonna make up a date here last year. And uh, yeah, so make up, make up some people, yeah, whatever. <laughs> and then we just want to make sure this here, sync with Lightroom, is ticked. And then we can press create, and then we just press import as per normal. And all those files are going, and they then start syncing with the Lightroom mobile app. So down here, we can see in my collections, I've got all these weddings here with this kind of like two-way arrow going on. And this means that they're actually synced. If we right click, we can take them off sync so we can stop them being synced to the cloud. And obviously these are gonna take up space on your area. So you don't wanna to sync too many. You just wanna keep what you want on there. So uh, so yeah, and uh, it's pretty simple really then. We can now make changes on here or head over to our iPad. So let's go over to our iPad. Okay, so we're gonna grab our iPad now and go through all the little features on here. So as you can see, this is the sort of like display that it would like open up with. And uh, top left corner, we've got to uh, like the collections, I think you would say it's called. And if we click this, it sort of toggles this view. Then we've got like this shared to web kind of thing, which it does never do. Then we've got these like ideas and sort of tutorials kind of tabs. So yeah, I literally just use this collections. Then we've got all photos underneath there. We've got delete photos, Lightroom camera photos. You know, and then we've got our albums. So this is all stuff that we've synced across off our cloud, uh, off the uh, Lightroom Classic on the computer. So yeah, and you can see that they've got some of them have got these little like sort of blue arrows next to them. And that means that they're saved locally on the device which is really important. So if I'm ever like working on a wedding, like I'll come home that night, I'll back the photos up straight away, put them in Lightroom, and then I'll start the syncing process straight away. I'll then grab my iPad, plug my iPad into a wall socket, and then I'll click on these uh, three little dots next to the name. So Bal and David just on the right there, the three little dots, and then I'll click this store locally. That's really, really important. Uh, and then that'll start them sort of saving to the device and just make them that much easier to load so that when I come to it the next morning and I want to call, you know, this is uh, 3,400 photos. It's super, super fast. It's so, so fast. It's really, really great. So yeah, that's basically the side panel. It doesn't range them into like the weddings and the family that I had on the iMac, but yeah, it just uploads them sort of in the sort of last view. So the last one to sort of be uploaded is normally at the bottom, or I think we might be putting them in file order, which as I said before, I sort of uh, name all my files backwards. So yeah, like 20 for 2020 and then 12 and then for December and then 23 for you know, the 23rd. It just, I find that just works so much better every year. Um, wherever you sort of display uh, a folder name. So yeah, uh, moving across, so now, so we've got Balan Davis sort of selected here, we can click on the photo to go in, click on the photo to go out, we can click on the photo to make it full screen, we, then we can click on this top left bit here to like show information, which is really cool. So I normally have mine on like what my camera settings were, or, or um, uh, what the like uh, whether the star setting and those kind of things is there so yeah I've got my camera setting there I've got the picture along the bottom I've got sort of the sort of timeline of images there and these are all final images from this wedding these are and then on my right hand side I've then got like uh, my usual editing things that if you're familiar with Lightroom mobile on your sort of mobile phone it's exactly the same so we've got light we've got color we've got X effects, detail, optics, and as far as I know, you can't change the sort of layout of this like you can on the iMac sort of version. And things like color mixer, which I'm always messing around in because I love sort of taking the um, saturation of things like right down sometimes, especially if there's sort of like a really gaudy sort of color that's standing out of the scene. 
that's in like a sub menu, which is a bit annoying, but yeah, it's sort of that. Uh, I would probably only say I use the light and the color one. I barely ever go into the bottom for effects, detail, optics, and geometry. Yeah, I barely ever mess with that. Then we've got down here, this is like some presets that are already there. We can sort of add our own presets, but when I do my import onto the computer, I just set my preset on there. So I don't even have to ever worry about like the presets on here. And if something hasn't got a preset, I'll just literally hit this top right three dots copy settings and then I'll choose which ones I want to copy same as you would on the, the iMac version and then I'll just paste uh, as you can see so yeah it's super 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 easy there so moving on yeah like I said presets then we've got crop a uh, healing brush that we normally use selective edits which I use all the time and then moving down here this uh, the one below selective edits allows you to sort of paste from the photo you were last working on which is really really important and saves loads of time so yeah there's a lot of versions, so we can make multiple versions and they store it in the same sort of file, which is really cool. Whereas on library, they sort of store them next to them and it gets a little bit confusing sometimes. And then coming right down to the bottom of the screen, we've got the star, which is what I like to call the culling section. So when we're using this, as you can see at the bottom, we've got like the stars and then we've got the flag and the non flag. So this is a flag in image because I call in with my work. So anything I want, I flag and then I can set that at the end. My right thumb here does the flag and my left thumb does a star. So if you imagine like the screen split in the middle, it's got like the details for it. So I can click anywhere on the screen um, on the right hand side for the flag and anywhere on the screen on the left hand side for the star. So as you can imagine, this is super, 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 super fast when I'm a cling. And I'll normally do like a quick pass through my images, like do, 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 quick. And then I'll come back through and do a bit more of a refined. And what I love doing is, uh, going back to the uh, grid view and viewing it here and looking for things that are doubles and just going in and go, yeah, get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that. Yeah, I'm not sure about that, get rid of that. Yeah, want that, want that coin, get rid of that. So yeah, it's sort of dead quick and it works so much faster than it does on the iMac because we're working with those smart previews that we've sent over. So yeah, that's really, really cool. Coming further down, don't use this. Shared albums, don't use tags. Sometimes come on the info to see what the um, info or shot was, but then, like I said, that's in the top left corner anyways, most of the time. So yeah, coming just back out and then, top right, we've got like sort of this magnifying glass and we've got this filter and then we've got no, like the activity and then we've got the cloud and things like that. So if you're ever in trouble, that's a good place to sort of check the cloud. And then we've got this bit on the top right, which is like view options. So sometimes things change on here and you might want your exif data around the small thumbnails, large thumbnails. That's all sort of changeable up there. But yeah, what I really love is this filter sort of thing. So as you can see, I've got flag selected here, but if I deselect it, it then flags in all my 3,400 images. And we can change the sort of star set in here as well and do that, which is really cool. But yeah, it does work so great. And say if we want to like, say if we set something crazy, like, I don't know, we just want raw and we want this and we want, yeah, just want D D750 photos, even though that's all I shoot with. Then on the top left, we can see all these sort of selected things here and we can just sort of click which ones we don't want and it'll just affect the photos otherwise. So yeah, that is basically a little run through on Lightroom Mobile, but yeah, it's so fast and so great. And sometimes when you're editing, you know, you can see like the grain a little bit more but what you've just got to remember is these photos are smart previews and when you get them back over to the computer, it all just looks so much better. So yeah, that's sort of my first and my sort of iPad videos. I hope you enjoyed it. Get yourself one of these. It's amazing for selective edits. You can do loads of stuff with it. I normally just use my fingers when I'm just doing like culling or just like sort of working around and then use the pen for the finer details. But yeah, these are amazing. So yeah, any questions, just ask in the comments. I'm going to be doing a few more videos. Catch you later. Bye.